so friends in continuation with the previous video where i talked about the concept known as freezing the rows and columns in this video i'll be talking about the concept known as splitting so splitting is a very useful concept in case of microsoft excel and it is used when we are having a very large data set and in the splitting what we can do that we can divide that whole sheet or whole table into two panels and then we can compare one particular data set or one particular record with the another record so it is very very easy so both these concept that is freezing and splitting they are very very important concept and they enhance the visibility and improve the data analysis in a very complex worksheet so let us start with the practical part about the splitting so here we are having the same data set that we used in the earlier video so we are having a table here now what i want to do here that suppose if i want to compare the data of raquel booth with one another employee now raquel booth is currently available at the 10th position now i want to compare her data with one of the another employee that is scott jenkins so scott jenkins data i want to compare with raquel booth so currently both are at different positions so normally i cannot do that thing so what we have to do now that we have to split this whole screen into two parts there are two kind of splitting here that is one is known as horizontal splitting and another one is known as vertical splitting so let us see this thing so first of all we'll start with the horizontal splitting so here what i'll do that i'll select this cell that is known as michael bowman and then after selecting this cell that is a11 here the selection of the cell is very very important so i want to currently divide this screen into two parts one on the top another one at the bottom area so i'll select this cell a11 and then i will go to the view tab in the view tab we are having this button which is known as split button so i click on the split button here and you see that now we are having here two panels or two panes on the right hand side you can see that we are having here two vertical scroll bar so this is one vertical scroll bar this is another vertical scroll bar the horizontal scroll bar is only one because we have not divided vertically so we are having only one horizontal scroll bar but here we are having two vertical scroll bar now if i want to compare the data of raquel booth with that person so i go down here in this another window and here now i can select scott jenkins okay so now you can see that raquel booth and scott jenkins the records are placed side by side and now i can compare very easily so this is where the horizontal splitting will help you to compare the data within one sheet only after i've done the comparison suppose if i don't want to see this splitting here then i have to again go to the view tab and i have to click the same button split so i click this button split and now you see that the splitting is gone now it is only one sheet here so this was the horizontal splitting now let us go for the vertical splitting so vertical splitting what i want to do that i want to split here between the d column and the e column so suppose if i want to compare let's say d column with i column then we can go for the vertical splitting so i'll select here this cell that is e1 cell very very important if i want to split between d and e column then i have to select this cell e1 i go to the view tab in the view tab i click the same button split button as soon as i click it here split you see that now the splitting is done so now here we are having two horizontal scroll bar this is one this is two and we are having only one vertical scroll bar so this is possible in the vertical splitting so now i can compare this d with let's say i column i can go like this and now you can see that d and i they are together they are side by side so now i can compare the data so this is what we mean by the vertical splitting and if i want to remove it i can again go to the view tab click the split button and now the splitting is gone now there is one last option here that is suppose if i want to split this one screen into four screens four so when you want to divide this whole screen into four screens or four panels then you can select here one of the random cell let's say I select here one cell which is known as e12 and now i again go to the view tab click this split button and now you see that we are having here four panes or four panels on the right hand side we are having these two vertical scroll bar below we are having here two horizontal scroll bar because now it is divided into four panels i can individually scroll up and down here now suppose if i want to remove this splitting here then either i can go to the view tab i can click the split button here that is possible or i can also put my pointer here where this intersection is taking place between the two splitting after putting the pointer here i double click 
so when i double click here you see the splitting is gone so this is also possible okay or let me go again here splitting so now the splitting is there if i want to remove the splitting i can click the split option here and now the splitting is gone so friends please do the practice about this freezing and splitting and please also use in your day-to-day -day life and definitely you will be happy in using these two concepts here so see you in the next video till then thank you very much